Welcome back to another video on a Satisfactory. I'm Ami Durf, and if you do here, don't forget to subscribe. There we go. Oh, you can even eat them after you're full. Oop. All right. Anyway, so first thing is I keep forgetting about this thing. Okay. Confirm. I thought I did. Amanita lardum or bacon agaric can be added to the object scanner catalog okay. after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Sure. Uh, I thought I did these things, but I guess not. Let's see. Let's come back in here. Where'd it go? Right here. Analyze. Let that thing do its deed. All right. So what I've done is I've reset all of this stuff and set it up in a nice little organized like fashion before I forget let me uh, put this thing back on so this right here is pumping away it is the only thing running off of this line right and it is pumping out like crazy and it's going and then it's splitting up into the smelters which those three are running off of this one right here this biomass burner which I gotta keep refueled. I found the uh, biofuel, by the way. Yep. So I got biofuel, which is 15 seconds. So that works out better. And let that stuff go. That one is running the three constructors, which are making plates. And those three constructors are then merging into this one that is filling the storage. Now, now that I'm seeing just how big everything really is this stuff's way too close to base but for now I'm gonna let it run because you know it's there meanwhile let me see if I can take a lot of this stuff All right things I don't really need to take I'm gonna try and shove back in let's see take you guys too alright so what do I need to do is I got to fix up everything. I want to get everything running as efficiently as this is right now. You know, I want to have the MK, I want to have the uh, the miner pumping out, splitting into three smelters, the three smelters splitting down into three constructors, and then those three merging into one storage container, because I think that's the best production I can do at this point in time. Also personal storage actually I need a couple more rods let me run and grab those rods and then we'll do the personal storage and then I think we're gonna upgrade the rods over here which I noticed there's a node over here for iron so I might end up moving the plates over here as well right there is the node and this is the rod setup off another node so yeah I might bring it all over to one what I thought. Alright. Let me run back there and we're going to do this milestone and continue. Here we go. Ready for launch. Personal storage. There. Milestone reached. Additional storage options have been provided. Yeah. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. That's good. So that works. That's, that's kind of nice. Because I only got one and I keep filling up my inventory. Alright. And it gave me five extra slots. Oh, that's even better. Alright. So then we have conveyor walls, which I mean we'll do just because I gotta get it done. And that's gonna cost something I don't have yet again. I found one in the a while back, but I used it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. That's fine though. Alright. Yeah, we're getting there. We're almost done with tier one. We're not too much more to go. However, like I said, I want to upgrade everything so they're running as efficiently as I can have them run. Except something like this might be a problem because of all of the things in the way. But let's start with the deconstruction of everything. I like deconstruction, man. It's so much nicer. Alright, now I wonder how long I have to pick all this stuff up. 
I know I don't have the room. But at least it didn't leave me one right here, huh? All right, let's start this off. Where are we? Right here. Let's start you going off in that same direction. All right. We're going to set it up to a splitter. Turn this thing around first. A little more. Right, right. And then we need some smelters. Now, here's where things are going to start to get a little bit wonky because I don't have the room. So I'm thinking... We'll go over here. Yeah, something like that. All right, so then we just need to line them up best I can. Why don't they line up too good? They have this, like, weird whatever. You know what? I'm not going to argue. Ah. Uh, the stuff on the floor. Let me pick everything up and put it in that storage box. Alright. So I couldn't line them up perfectly, but I'm not going to be... I'm not going to complain too, too much. From there, I'm going to have to... Snake everything around here. Yeah. I'm going to have to move it all out over here. And hopefully, be able to construct everything in a nice kind of orderly line-ish. Come on. Wrong one. Now well, I guess I'll take it. Now it's in the way. What's your problem? So I'm not a fan of this area. It's very difficult to uh, get these things to build right. Oh, the way I want them anyway. Oh, I can't even afford it. Hold on, wait, wait, why can't I afford that? Oops. I need cable. No, check. Oh, I need reinforced iron plating. Alright. I gotta head back up here and make some more reinforced iron plating. <clears throat> Alright, with that built, I need a merger. Spin this guy around about here. Put you there. Alright, and now... Storage container. There we go. Now I just gotta connect everything. Which isn't bad. I like the conveyor belts in here. I've also learned, though, do not walk into the conveyor belt while it's being constructed because uh, you get stuck in there. <laughs> yeah, so while it's doing that thing, don't don't go in there. Oh, how will that work with the tree in there? Will that stop it? We're going to find that out. I have no idea if that's going to be a problem or not. It might not be. Alright, and... Oh, crap. Wrong one. Wrong button. Oh, hey, how you doing? Alright. Oh, what was in this box? Alright, hey, I'll take it. I didn't even realize there was another one there. I know the uh, copper wire is there because, well, I don't have the room for the storage container stuff. What I'm going to do here... Right, I'm going to try and pick this stuff up and then walk it over and put it into the storage container, hopefully. And then we'll be back to hook this up with power. Oh, that's really all I'm going to carry at once. Okay, that's not going to be that great. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to do quickly, just to uh, pick this stuff up and get it off the floor. Alright, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to set up three biomass burners. Right. Um, 
Put you here. And one there. All right, which means I need three poles. We'll put a pole right there. Oh, 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 conveyor belt. And one right there. And we'll put one. Well, I really don't need the pole here, but because I'm only going to be hooking that one up to it, I just want to be able to disconnect it when I want to. Right? And it gives me two more choices there. I'm sure there's another way, but for now, this is what I got. Alright, so I gotta connect these three to there, which that one's gonna go to this one, and then those three to here. Oops, what happened? Oh yeah, I did do it, okay. And that to this guy. Now, I already have the fuel, so just gotta throw the fuel in there. All right, and this one. So now I should be able to pick up whoop, all of my stuff now. I should have the room. All right, run buttons. And I should be able to get into going, get going over here. So this thing should just start production. All right, yep, there's the ore. The ore is gonna come through here. Now I gotta set these things to copper. Right, there we go. Copper, copper. Then over here. The only thing I really make is uh, it's the wire. So, I'm just going to set wire. And that sets up that production to be as efficient as it can be. So all the wire will then come down into here. Eventually filling this part up, I'd assume, which would help me out. All right. Now what I really need to do is set up the rest of them. What do we got here? How come I didn't pick this up? Oh, because it's mine. That's right. i got to destroy it now. There we go. All right. Now that takes care of copper. Copper's on its own. All set. I gotta move to the iron down here and set that one up. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna grab some of this and I'll bring you back for the final touches of setting up the iron rod center. Well, I don't know what that thing is, but it doesn't look friendly. It just sat up when I got near it. All right, or right, it's fine. Anyway, sure. I don't know what it is. You know what? Let's. Oh, nope, nope. Let's not hit it. Let's not hit it. Something. Yep, nope. Poisonous gas. Oh, there's another one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just running around trying to collect some, uh. some materials, like wood and, and leaves, so I can switch it to biofuel. It is all set up over there. The only thing I'm missing is, uh, the fuel. Which, I don't really have anything to convert to fuel. So, yeah. Yeah, it just means I gotta run around and collect a bunch of things. I'm sure there's a better way, and I bet you it's that chainsaw. What is this? Okay. I bet you that chainsaw lets me cut down trees and I get a lot of wood for it, which I could convert. Which I'm just not quite there yet. Which turns out I'm, uh, I'm at the base now, huh? What is this thing? Oh, let me pick you up. I know what you are. Haha, got it. Alright. Well, here's the base. I mean, look at that thing go. That looks so nice. I like the setup. The setup does work. Then I got another one going over there. Yeah, definitely got some progress going. I'm liking it. I like this game a lot, actually. Starting to enjoy it. However, I'm going to keep collecting. And I'll be back when I have enough fuel to power the iron rod setup. Hey, I found another one of these little guys. I don't know what they are, but I'll pick it up now. 
Just exploring. I've already found one of these. I'll take another one, though. Oh, there's more. I'll take them, too. Just because I don't know what other uses they're going to have except for that, uh, that upgrade. The milestone. You know what? We're here. Let's do that milestone, seeing as I just got everything I needed for it. Whoa. Hey. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Wow. I'm going to have to figure out some about fuel. Because that went through pretty quickly. However, how are you doing? Oh, wow. That is filling up so much faster. Alright. Come over here. Let's see if I do this one. Select the milestone. Here we go. Hit it. Milestone done. What'd you do for me? Nothing? Nothing. Well, in a minute we could do this one. But first, I'm going to sit here for a while and convert all my fuel. Well, there is something in the water just kind of skipping around. Whoa. I mean, early access, so, you know, I get it. I wonder if it's dangerous. I bet you it is. Can I see it? Oh, ooh, we could actually swim in this one. Oh, there's something in the middle, too. All right, good to know. I'll be back for that eventually. But for now, I didn't quite get enough fuel, so I gotta collect a couple more. And while I'm over here, I'm gonna bring some stuff back because that uh, this box over here is full. Yeah, yeah, I kind of filled this thing up. All right, I'm gonna keep collecting. I'll be back. All right, so I think oops, wrong key. I got enough. I do. Select the milestone. Let's do this. Two fifty. One hundred. And 100 in the launch. Alright. That Milestone takes care of all of miles. Tier 1. Space, navigation and tidiness. R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Yeah. That's it? That's all you gotta tell me? What'd it give me? Uh, stairs. Okay. And the conveyor walls. Interesting. So I'm almost to that point where we can start building places. I don't know how much that helps, but hey. So, update. Uh, <laughs> this was not needed, alright? These things produce so fast that the conveyor belts cannot keep up. So having three of them rolling at the same time, the bottleneck is actually the uh, conveyor belt. So that was not needed, that was overkill. You know, the plates one, the plates really worked out well. I like the plate. Uh, as far as this one goes, we're about to find out because I have all of the fuel needed to start this up. So, let's throw that in there. This thing should just be good right off the bat. Alright, I'll throw some in here. This one's not good. I need to come over here and select iron. All right, and over here, I gotta add in another two hundred. This one, you gotta select the iron rods. Here we go. Add. There we go. We already did it. That should be it. Yep. There's the iron rods. Good to go. They'll come over here and they'll start coming in as a storage. Nice. So that means I can take this thing down. Alright. So the iron rods, the iron plates, and the copper wire is all set. After seeing the copper wire though, I'm not going to set up the limestone like that. I don't really see a point. I don't think it's needed. I think it's a little overkill. And how much I actually use limestone is... It's not so much anymore, or hasn't been so much, I should say. It might be more in the future, but this thing's going to sit here and backlog while I wait. Oh, does it blink red when it's out of fuel? That's good to know. Heck yeah, alright. Uh, we only got 27, but it's something. See, I can't imagine. Look, I, I have 200 on me right now. I don't even, I don't even need to take any more. So I'm going to leave that alone. And that's all the time I have for this video. I'm Mommy Derf. 
that's that. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe with the channel icon in the middle of your screen. And the newest upload to the channel to your top right. And the playlist for Satisfactory will be at your top left. Later.